services to bring glory and honor to God's name, to raise up a supernatural army with signs and wonders and miracles. Can you be part of this move? In Jesus' name, and everybody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've been preaching a series on signs, wonders, and miracles, and, and for you that have not got that, for you that's on the internet or any, any other nation, we've got a lot of calls from different nations that want us to come and thus and thus. But you have to get the series that we've ministered on signs, wonders, and miracles. It's an absolutely must. Our ministry started off years ago, and I had one message, and it's the same message right now. Signs, wonders, and miracles. And the only reason that we minister so much on signs, wonders, and miracles is to prove that there is a real God. Amen. The only way that he has ever proven himself, and this is why I don't want to go back, you've got to get those tapes yourself. He proved himself from, from coming out of Egypt, I mean, all the way from Genesis to Revelation. Right. Signs, wonders, and miracles. And over and over, all the way through the Word of God, He says these words. That they may know that I am the Lord God. You cannot say one minute that Jesus did not have signs, wonders, and miracles. And we're supposed to have the same ministry as Jesus. Someone say amen. I want to read uh, a little note here that the Lord laid in my heart. Signs, wonders, and miracles are for one person, purpose and one reason only. Right. One purpose, one reason only. To make the unbelievers believers. Yeah. And what everybody say to make the unbeliever a believer. Believer. It takes signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen. In order to make a true believer in God, there must be signs wonders and miracles. Yes. Uh -huh. There is not a religion or a cult upon the face of the earth that can prove their doctrine or their religion without signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen. This is why the Muslims, and I'm, I'm winning the Muslims to the Lord, and, and all kinds of them, I've just pulled in giants to get some hot dogs while I'm there. Roll hot dogs. <laughs> and within three minutes, I had that guy's hand praying with him. Wow. Thank Lord. the Lord. Bless him. How many of you know that kind of stuff should not be a rare experience? Yes. Come on. Right. These signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. Right. Come on. That's what Jesus said. So that's why when it comes to all these cults and religions, one thing I say to them is, prove it. Prove that you're right. Right. The Muslims can't prove it because they don't have no signs, wonders, and miracles. Oh, that's right. Buddhists, no matter what the cult, what the religion, they can't prove their doctrine. That's right. right. And how many times have I had people stand before me and say, I don't believe it? I said, You will in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and all I had to do was say, Jesus and the power of God to throw them and paralyze them against the wall. That's right. Come on. That's right. Yes. It's all right. We, that song right before the last song here. There's power in the name. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. There's power in the name of Muhammad. No, 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 no. There's power in the name of Buddha. Nothing. But when you say Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't even have to say a long prayer. All you gotta do is say, Jesus. Jesus, our Lord, proved that He's the Son of God by the signs and wonders and miracles. Right. He said, if you don't believe what I said, believe what I've done. Yeah. What is that? Wave at me, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Even the baptism of the Holy Ghost is for a sign. Uh -huh. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 22, wherefore tongues are for a sign. Somebody say sign. sign. It says, not to them that believe, 
But to them that believe not. That's right. That's right. So you have the baptism of the Holy Ghost and you don't speak and talk to them in the public or get around anybody. Drive the devil crazy. <laughs> he don't know what you're talking about. He don't make believers out of the ones right there. I guess it was 1980, 81, maybe Brother Long wore something in Bangalore, Maine. Maybe he might be hearing this. Him and I went to Russia to smuggle in Bibles. And we went out in the streets at night and we knew the Russians had an eye on us. And we snuck out and they did not know we snuck out, I can tell you that. But the devil did. Sure. How many of you know the devil knows what you're doing? Yeah. Come on, he's got an eye on you. Yeah. And we're going down the street. And we knew where our destiny was to get to the Jews. And here a devil man comes. Drunker than skunk, carrying a bottle of vodka. And come across the street. And I don't know why, but he did not zero in on me. He zeroed in on the pastor, Pastor Ron. And he come over to him and took that bottle and tried to shove it in his face. And he's, Brother Ron didn't know he speak English because if he spoke English, you know, he could get turned in or whatever. And he just kept going like this. And, and that guy just kept falling and falling and pulling on. Brother Ron had a long overcoat on. He was pulling on and pulling on. And I was just walking off the side. The Spirit of the Lord speaking to me, just continue on. Now if I had my way in the flesh, I'd knock him cold. <laughs> Pamela and <it's> been over. <laughs> that took care of that. But the Lord's speaking heart just let him alone. And Brother Ron was doing everything he could to get away from this devil. And all of a sudden, Brother Ron just stopped and he put his friends. I don't know what I put to him, I call him a shadow. And then I woo and took off. Right across that street, we go on the other side, turn around and look back, and he took off again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the Holy Ghost said to that man, but I'll tell you one thing. It scared the living hell out of him. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes. That man will never forget. That's no, right. <laughs> so, so tongues are for a sign. Sure. Somebody say amen. amen. Why do we have the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost? Nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. Let's, let's find out what they are. One of them is a word of wisdom. What's the word of wisdom? Give direction. Right. How many times have I come up to somebody and the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell them do this or don't do that or this? Or, come on. Aww. It's a sign that somebody's talking to you. Yeah. Right. The word of knowledge. Call out conditions. Thousands and thousands of times. Call our conditions or walk over to somebody and say, you have such and such and thus and thus and so on. How many know, they know that it's not a, a dumb old hillbilly boy talking to them. Uh -huh. That's right. I tell everybody, listen, it's not through my education because I only went to ninth grade and didn't carry a book home. They just passed me getting me out of there. Pastor <laughs> 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 John's back there. <laughs> When God starts to tell them their names, every last word they've even said, the last prayer they had, what they ate, everything about their life, it makes believers out of them. Got that right. I have seen more people in all these 36 years of preaching, very seldom do I ever give an overcall. I don't preach salvation, I preach Jesus. And when Jesus, the Spirit of Him, moves upon them, is anybody with me here? Yeah. 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 But when God starts to move on them in the gifts, I've seen people drop to the floor and throw their hands over their head and say, save me, save me, save me. Yes. Through the gifts. Yeah. Tell them every last thing about their life. Yeah. Why did He give the nine gifts? They're signs. Come on. To prove to this world that there is a God in heaven that knows everything. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Next one. The gift of healing. Yes. Amen. My mother, my sister's here over here. My wife's here too. 
But my mother, but if she laid hands on you, you're healed. I think I told you last week or one time, I had in front of our place, uh, there was a garbage truck, and Mom had talked to this black man about the Lord many times over, and he didn't want to hear it. His name was Walter, wasn't he? Walter. Yeah, Walter. And while he was putting garbage in the back of the truck, another car came up, or truck or whatever it was, and hit him, and drove him into the back of that garbage truck, and cut him all that completely in half. He should have been dead instantly. And mom comes running out of the house, blood guts every place. And mom comes running out of the house and lays hands on water and says, Water, don't worry, you're going to leave, you'll be okay. Next day he's out of the hospital. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. What does that do? That proves to somebody, hey, this ain't normal. Let, let me go back here and read something to you. We're teaching, preaching on signs, wonders, and miracles. Now, let's find out really what a sign is first. Webster says signs are this. Something that stands for something else. A symbol. Something that serves to indicate the presence or the existence or something else to warn, to show something is going to happen or has happened or was soon to happen. So once again, we go down the road. Everybody went on the way to the meeting here. You've seen signs. You see a sign, a curve, baby thing, cross thing. You've seen signs. You've seen all kinds of different signals. I heard a rabbi preach the other night. He said the word signs in the Greek and so forth means it's a signal. I said, Whoa! Hallelujah. How many of you go down the road and you see a flashing light? It's a signal. Uh -huh. Come on. If it's yellow, it's flashy, it's a signal. It's telling you, whoa. Yeah. Come on. So what's the sign? Let me read one more time. Something that stands for something else. A symbol. Something that serves to indicate the presence or existence or something else to show and to warn something is going to happen or has happened or is soon to happen. I love that. So that's a sign. Yes. So... Would you, these signs that follows them, they know that someone's there and it's not you. Uh -huh. It's Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord just brought this back to me. While I was saying back there in this song service going on, the Lord's book and said, tell every person that's here tonight, pretend that nobody else is here except for you. Oh, yeah. He says, because I am speaking to you only. Amen. How many of you know he wants to make it personal to you? Come on. He does. There could be 10,000 here, but God said, I want to talk to you. Amen. Yes. So I want you to just grasp this in your thought that he brought you here tonight because he wants to talk to you about signs in your life Amen. to prove that he is God. So that's right. How many we know the beloved John? He had many signs. How many know they took him and put him in hot cooking oil and he wouldn't cook? Right. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on now. Right. How many know that's a good sign? Yeah. <laughs> Take the Hebrew children. Throw them in the fire furnace and they won't burn. The men that did throw them in, the heat burned them up outside. Yeah. But they was inside. But how many know somebody's in there with them? Yeah. The king said, Isn't yeah. didn't we throw three in? But I see four. And he All looks right. like the Son of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Signs. You, you, you can't. From Genesis to Revelation, it's nothing but signs. That's right. Yeah. And I cannot understand why the churches and the ministers and the people don't wake up and understand yeah. we've got to have some signs and wonders and miracles. Yeah. 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 In that song we just sang here, there's power in the name of Jesus. It's yeah. in that song. God's raising up an army. Heaven, yeah. Isn't this what I've been saying for years? Yeah. God's raising up a supernatural yes, army yeah. with signs, yeah. wonders, yeah. and miracles to prove yes. that He's God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. Jesus. Already go. That's right. Oh, yeah. Coming soon. What, yeah. What's it say? We are here to raise up an army. Mm -hmm. yes. 
How many of you know God, I, I say this many times over because the Lord keeps bringing back my mind. How many of you know He'd have salvation for everybody, but everybody don't want salvation? That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. He said, I have none to perish. That's right. That all would come to everlasting life. It's not going to happen. I know. That's right. Many years ago, He spoke to me. He said, this move, this army he's raising up. Besides one is river, he said, I'd have it for everybody, but it's not for everybody. That's right. I thought, what? Amen. Yep. How many know he wants everybody to be in this? Mm -hmm. But most people don't care. Yeah, they don't. Too much of this. Flesh. Yes. You gotta turn that heat off. I don't think anybody in here is cold. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Is anybody, is anybody, is anybody cold back in here? If you're cold, come on up to the front. Let's find out what wonders are. You, you need to get the, the series of these tapes and go back and hear how Moses, when he's bringing the people out of Egypt, how the Lord talked about the signs, the wonders, and miracles. And they all classified together. But this is what wonders are. To be astonished. A wonder will astonish people. Yes, it will, yes. Surprise them. They'll stand marvel, amazed, excited by something extraordinary, something that cannot be explained naturally. Right, right. You can't explain a wonder. You can't explain a miracle. So we say amen. Then it says a miracle. Let's find out what it says what a miracle is. An extraordinary event taken as a sign of a supernatural power of the living God. Yes. So we say hallelujah. 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 I'm a miracle many times over. Right. I should be dead. Pastor John back there. My brother right here. It's my wife. Come on now. What do you think the doctors and people around you think whenever they say it's over? <laughs> my brother, my brother, when you singing up here, he said, how many times did the doctor say it was over for him? But somebody said, he's still here. Somebody said, how do I do it? Come on, come on. <laughs> Pastor John Porter back there, his wife, they never tried to cook them. Like, a month, a month and a half ago, the place caught on fire underneath them. Wow. Place filled with smoke. Sister Mary wakes him up. He's not getting up. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Devil <laughs> try to kill him with heart attacks and anything and everything and so forth. Yeah. And when I looked at him, I'm telling you what, if he wasn't dead, he's the deadest thing I ever seen. <laughs> Doctors told him, you'll never preach again. Well, guess what? Last Sunday he went back to preaching. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. That's another sign. The healing. Come on, the healing power of Jesus Christ. Somebody say hallelujah. My God. Thank you. Hallelujah. See, when you walk under that anointing, when you walk in His presence in the Holy of Holies, signs and wonders and miracles will follow you as easy as easy as the little, as easy as walking in the snow, making footprints. Prophecy. I remember many years ago, they was calling me to go to places and started going, and all of a sudden they started to put out in front of the place Prophet Humphrey. And I think, what are they doing that for? And it upset me. And I go into church and I'd say, uh, they got a sign out there that said Prophet Humphrey. I'm not a prophet. I just didn't like somebody call me a prophet. But nobody listened to me. <laughs> they kept putting those signs out there. And one day I said to God about it. And I, this is what I said. I said to the people, I said, I never called myself a prophet. And God spoke to me. And he said, are you ashamed to be called a prophet? Don't say it again. So somebody seen something in my life that they said that 
He's a prophet. But what does prophecy do? It's God speaking. And they know that Dumbo, Dumbo, you and I <laughs> people call me because you know I have a couple businesses and so forth, and they'll call me and they'll say, What are you doing tomorrow? I said, I don't have an idea what I'm doing two minutes from now. <laughs> <laughs> and saying that to say this, how in the world would I don't know what I'm gonna be doing two minutes from now, what's gonna happen in the future? Right. <coughs> Could somebody just throw a hand here? Yeah. yeah. I agree. Anybody getting anything out of this here? Yeah. Mom. Um, Deserving a spirit. But it, right there sits a woman there and read that good looking young little girl right there that I've been married to going on 49 years now. That's my woman. That's my wife. Buddy, I'll tell you one thing. Nobody gets around her unless she knows who they are. Hallelujah. Lord. She has walked up to people, not only in the church, but business people have come to my house and she said, you're a sneak. <laughs> Shot the daylights out of them. <laughs> Look at right in the eyes and you're a devil. <laughs> how, how many of you know? How, uh, listen, listen to me. Please listen to me. The most important gift of all the gifts as we come in these last days. Right. He's going to be discerning the spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anybody here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> There's a lot of fakes out there, baby. That's all, man. Come on. And you better not understand there's wolves and sheep clothing. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. How many times through the years have I been in churches and even ministers and so forth mm -hmm. took the mic and held her behind my back and said, Thus saith the Lord. They find out that God's speaking and the prophet speaks something or you have the gift of prophecy. Oh, please, 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 never, never. If God's ever used you in the gift of prophecy, don't think you're a prophet or a prophetess. Because you're a long ways from it. The, prophet, the gift of prophecy is for the edifying of the church. That's to help you build you up and thus and thus. But a prophet or a prophetess you're strictly from God and you're with a stern warning. Come on. Come on. And use this judgment to come. Yeah. Yeah. Real prophet. Yeah. And true prophets and prophetess is not light. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. All right. When Samuel came into the city, the Bible said the people trembled. And they said, Come in peace. He's in peace. How many of you know it's time that fear comes back in the house of God? Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 You got it right. Amen. I'm so sick and tired of going to church and hearing the same old Pablo message. Yeah. Oh, Amen. Amen. Right. I said a couple weeks ago, and, and the minister got up later on, he said about what I said. <clears throat> I said, when I go to church, I don't want to hear anything from that preacher. I don't want to hear nothing he has to say. <laughs> I'm not here for one of your messages. I'm here to hear, thus saith the Lord. I said this on one of the videos, I'd rather go home and drink my moo moo and eat my bun buns than waste my time going, somebody say amen. We're talking about signs and wonders and miracles. To prove there is a living God. Amen. We haven't got into the scriptures yet. And I'm not going to keep you long. <coughs> Tongues. Speaking in another language. Yeah. And for all you lying devils out there that says, it's just another way of talking. Oh, it's another way of talking, but not like what you're talking about. Yeah. It's the Spirit of God yes. speaking through us. Yes, it is. Amen. Right. And we just read a while ago, sign, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's what it says. Right. 
<clears throat> interpretation of tongues. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of people fight. I watch an interpreter of tongues. I don't have time for baby fudge stuff. Come on. Man. I'm an old military man. Buddy, I'm telling you what. We just get ready to go to battle. A bunch of guys back there sucking their thumb and patting the position. That, I don't know. There's my such and such and such. You know, with my helmet. Oh, go lay down. <laughs> ministry. You can see the rest of this message each Sunday evening, your local time. If you would like to receive our monthly newsletter and know the things the Lord is speaking to Prophet Humphrey, then please send a love offering to help cover our expenses. Also, if you would like to have an anointed prayer cloth and become a ministry partner, send us your picture so we can pray, lay hands on you and your need and expect signs, wonders, and miracles in your life. Starting today, you will never be the same. Our website is upperroomministry.net. If you would like to schedule a speaking engagement, contact our ministry. All glory to Jesus. Amen.